Congratulations, everybody, to the class of 2021. What an incredible honor it is to be here today to celebrate this remarkable milestone with you and your loved ones. We know that getting to the finish line meant so much more than submitting that final exam. This past year, you faced unimaginable challenges and were put to the test in ways few other graduating classes have. Yet, you persevered, fueled by grit and determination. You not only met this moment, you also went above and beyond what was required for you as a student to make our beautiful state a better, more equitable place. Many of you took care of loved ones. You volunteered at food pantries. You marched for racial justice. And you served on the front lines to get your community vaccinated, all while pursuing your degree. And for our graduates, who are the first in your family to earn a college degree, you have forged an academic path for future generations to come. So as you stand here today, ready to embark on your next adventure, we don't just want to say congratulations. We want to extend a message of deep gratitude to you. We, along with your friends, families, and mentors, are beaming with pride and anticipation to see what tomorrow brings for you. You know, I'm feeling extremely hopeful. Hopeful that you all will be entering a world with a little less uncertainty and confidence that our next generation of leaders is here to guide us forward. Because if we've learned anything, it's that it isn't good enough to simply talk about going back to normal. You know, as we rebuild, we're looking to set new goals and be a little more audacious about creating a brighter future, one that's guided by not just uh, promise, but by compassion. You know, I'm proud of all of our graduates as you continue to push for the change and the demand that you want to see in the world and supports Californians from every conceivable walk of life. You know, fighting for progress is a, a time-honored tradition in California's higher education system, though through many of you that legacy, I have all the expectation, will continue to grow and to find the fabric, the best of our state. You know, we've seen the impact that all of you have had. This is the generation that prioritizes addressing things like climate change, generation that won't tolerate economic or racial injustice. You don't just dream of a brighter future and in a more inclusive world. You're out there actually acting on it and manifesting it. California is better off and will continue to be better off because of each and every one of you. We're so proud of our graduates and we're incredibly hopeful for our brighter future that all of us have to look forward to. So congratulations once again, class of 2021. You did it. Congrats, Yay. everybody. <laughs>
Greetings to the class of 2021. It's my great pleasure and a true privilege to offer just a few thoughts and words of congratulations on this momentous occasion. In my experience, commencement is always a little bittersweet, with one chapter of your life ending as a new one full of excitement and promise begins. And I bet that's especially true this year. I'm sure you're feeling overwhelming joy, made even more special as it's shared with family and friends, along with a well-earned sense of pride at this truly remarkable accomplishment. And maybe even a little relief now that your last finals are in the rear view mirror. But undoubtedly, you're feeling a little disappointment too. After all, the last year and a half of your college experience was not what you'd expected. It's not what any of us could have expected or anticipated. I understand, and I am sorry. But my hope for you, no, my assured prediction, is that over time, you will begin to notice that disappointment displaced by something else, by a growing realization, eventually an absolute confidence, that the ingenuity, adaptability, endurance, resilience, and resolve that you have relied upon to meet the extraordinary challenges presented by this extraordinary time have turned you into an unstoppable force. With these qualities, which you've demonstrated again and again, coupled with the knowledge and skills you've developed over the course of your academic journey, there is no obstacle you can't overcome. There's no personal, professional, or academic challenge you can't conquer. There is no goal that's too bold. And whether you are trailblazing a path as the first in your family to graduate from college, or carrying on a legacy of higher education that spans generations, your impact on your family, your community, our state, and our nation is boundless. So dream big then dream a little bigger. It's been my great honor to congratulate many graduating classes over the course of my career in education, and I plan to congratulate many more. I've been impressed by them all, proud of every one, but you will always hold a special place in my heart. I will forever remember and admire your spirit, your determination, and your achievements. Your future is bright. Your future is limitless. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Class of 2021, this is your moment. We are so proud of what you've accomplished. You've pressed forward against the odds and have succeeded. 
You've thrived in the face of adversity. You have shown strength and resilience. And you have completed this achievement with grace. You should be proud of yourself. Give yourself a pat on the back and take a bow. We can't wait to see what you'll achieve in the future. graduates and good morning on this very happy day and greetings to family members, friends, faculty and staff and everyone else who is here to honor and celebrate the achievements of our spring 2021 graduating class. I'd like to begin with our land acknowledgement. The San Jose State University community recognizes that the present day Muwekma Ohlone tribe with an enrolled Bureau of Indian Affairs documented membership of over 550, is comprised of all the known surviving American Indian lineages Aboriginal to the San Francisco Bay region who trace their ancestry through the missions Santa Clara, San Jose, and Dolores during the advent of the Hispano-European Empire into Alta California, and who are successors and living members of the sovereign historic previously federally recognized Verona Band of Alameda County. Furthermore, the San Jose State University community recognizes that the university is established within the Thamian Ohlone speaking tribal ethno-historic territory, which based upon the unratified federal treaties of 1851 to 1852, includes the unceded ancestral lands of the Muwekme Ohlone tribe of the San Francisco Bay area. Some of the enrolled Muwekma lineages are direct descendant from direct ancestors of the Thamian Ohlone tribal territory, whose ancestors had affiliation with Mission Santa Clara. The San Jose State University community also recognizes the importance of this land to the indigenous Muwekma Ohlone people of this region, and consistent with our principles of community and diversity, strives to be good stewards on behalf of the Muwekma Ohlone tribe whose land we occupy. Graduation truly is one of the most important and revered times on our academic calendar. It is an occasion when we celebrate and honor our students for the completion of their studies and for some, the end of their academic journey at San Jose State before stepping out into the world to make their mark. Our spring 2021 class is undoubtedly one of the most resilient and dedicated cohorts ever. The grit and determination you displayed, especially in the face of so many challenges this past year, has been nothing short of remarkable. The character you have shown bodes well for your futures and for the positive imprint you will leave on society. I congratulate all of you who have earned your degrees in the midst of such turbulent times. I especially would like to congratulate our two outstanding graduating seniors, Mamta Kanda and Anilal Diopno, as well as our outstanding thesis award winner, Grace Sheftik. Well done. I am delighted now to be joined by Provost Del Casino to talk more about this transformative graduating class. Be sure to stick around for the traditional hooding and tassel turn, which we will do at the end of our program. Ben, you want to join me? Thank you, President Papazian. I agree that this spring 2021 graduation class is one that will never be forgotten. In fact, when the history books are written and people look back at SJSU's graduating classes from previous eras, there should be a special chapter reserved for all our spring graduates. It is just unbelievable to see what you have achieved and overcome. You are now ready to continue on your life journey, one that will lead you to become a future leader or educator, scientist or researcher, urban planner, healthcare provider, artist, or communication specialist. Many of you are the first in your families to attend college, while others are parents setting an example for your children. 
whatever circumstances led you to us, SJSU, you are shining examples of what it means to be a Spartan. Now, President Papazian, you mentioned the word transform, and we should remind everyone that San Jose State University was ranked the number one most transformative university by Money Magazine this year. That's right, Ben. And though I wish we had time to talk about each and every one of our spring graduates and how they were transformed and how they transformed us, perhaps we should briefly touch on the stories of a few of our graduating Spartans who show us exactly why our university earned that distinction. That is a great idea, President Papazian. Hopefully these stories will inspire your classmates and help show them how they might similarly transform their own communities, professions, industries, and maybe even the entire country or world. I couldn't agree with you more, Ben. And one story that really caught my eye recently was that of spring graduate Jacob Lipinski, who describes himself as a first-generation, low-income student from a single-mother household. Like so many of our students, Jacob is the first person in his family to achieve a college degree. And he proudly notes that he did it on his own in four years. Now in a lot of ways, Jacob epitomizes the grit and determination that we see in so many Spartans. And he is using his education to make the world a better place. He has worked as a workshop coordinator in our educational opportunity program and as an I can, I will mentor. And he is graduating with a 3.7 cumulative GPA as a double major in history and social science. Now we're fortunate we get to keep Jacob for a little while longer because he plans on enrolling in our teacher education program and says he is committed to serving historically underserved and disadvantaged communities in order to narrow the opportunity gap plaguing education today. Wow, so impressive. That is really something, President Papazian. And I just have to say, I'm so excited to have Jacob join us in the teaching profession. Really well done. I want to note that we have a lot of other students as well who are really doing some amazing work. And one of those is Vandy Loth Kumar who's gonna be graduating from our doctorate in nursing practice this year. She's just got an incredible story. She's a first generation student of Cambodian refugees and she's earned already a nursing degree and a master of public health before she became part of our first DNP cohort, doctor in nursing practitioner cohort. And she says, I was able to participate in memorable internships and clinical experiences throughout my time at SJSU. I was able to learn the value of the voices of the people within the community. This allowed me to gain the skills I needed for patient advocacy. And I have to say in this age, we need patient advocates. So as a first generation college student of Cambodian refugees, Vandy did not even originally intend to pursue graduate studies, but she says SJSU changed her life transforming her, exposing her to the possibilities available to higher learning. She also notes that she really values the support she's gotten from her community. So it's just another amazing, exciting SJSU story, isn't it, President Papazian? Ben, what an amazing, amazing story. And Vandy, this, this incredible dedication to, to your studies, but really to your community, and to making a difference is something so important in our world today. So congratulations on these amazing accomplishments. Now, Ben, I've got another student, and I think this student takes the name, Ty Supreme. Now, Ty is studying microbiology and graduating with a degree in microbiology. She's been a student athlete in water polo and has been a president scholar and a dean scholar. She's maintained a GPA above a 3.85 her entire academic career, and that in a STEM discipline while playing Division I sports. Now, any one of those things is quite an achievement. To wrap it all up in one, take somebody who 
the Thai dedication. She expects to graduate summa cum laude, and her goals are particularly relevant these days. She says that her ultimate career goal is to make meaningful contributions in the field of microbiology and immunology with a focus on the study, defense, and treatment of infectious human diseases. That's something that we've all been learning a lot about, isn't it, over this past year. And I have no doubt that she will be successful in securing, as she says, a challenging position in a reputable organization for continuing to engage in fundamental research by becoming a professor and mentoring young scientists. Indeed, President Papazian, it's just another incredible SJSU story. And there are so many more of them. And also, we have to remember that behind the scenes, there are a lot of other people that provide support and guide the students we're honoring today. The parents, spouses, partners, significant others, children, relatives, alumni, and other friends of our students, the staff the faculty, the administrators, everyone who builds this community. They should all know that they've had a, a very important role in the success of our graduates. The same holds true, of course, for all the people here at SJSU. So a big shout out to all of you. You know, Provost Del Casino, I couldn't have said it better myself. So thank you to all in our community who have made such a difference in the lives of our extraordinary students. Now, before we move on to our conferral of degrees, family pudding, and tassel turn ceremony, there is a very special honorary degree that I am delighted to confer this spring to an extraordinary and well-deserving SJSU alumna. Honorary degrees are approved by the Board of Trustees through a highly selective process to recognize excellence and extraordinary achievement. I took the opportunity to visit campus for this unique occasion, and I invite you to take a look. When I think about giving, I can't do that without thinking about giving back to San Jose State University. And the reason is everything really kind of started here. Welcome to San Jose State University for this very special occasion. Today, the trustees of the California State University and San Jose State University are proud to confer an honorary doctorate degree to a proud alumna, longtime journalist, and champion of civil rights in Valerie Coleman Morris. In recognition of her numerous accomplishments as a journalist, service to the community, and her impact on financial literacy, the Board of Trustees of the California State University and San Jose State University are proud, indeed honored, to confer upon Valerie D. Coleman Morris the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Madam President Papazian, Trustee Sebelius, faculty, my longtime friend, Mayor San Licardo, my husband, my family, my dear friends, and members of the San Jose State University Class of 2021, I accept this honorary doctorate of letters with immense pleasure, gratitude, and sense of purpose. This honor represents my family's shared value of and commitment to higher education. I mean, how often does a grandmother get to experience educational milestones with her grands? The three of us. My 18-year-old grandson, Morgan, graduates high school. He's headed off to college. His sister, my 14-year-old granddaughter, Savannah, starts high school. And at age 74 years, I am receiving this honorary doctorate degree Valuing education is definitely a family affair. Congratulations to each member of the class of 2021. I leave with this thought. My late father and his regularly repeated lesson about looking in the rear view mirror. It's important to do, he'd tell me, 
Glancing in the rearview mirror reminds you where you've come from. And then dad would pose the question and he would then also pose the answer and say, what happens if you look in the rearview mirror for too long or too often? The answer, you won't know what you run into. He was talking about running past opportunities that were right in front of you. Graduates, for each of your rear view mirror memories or realities, always hear yourself say, I am looking forward. Thank you. That was great, President Papazian. Valerie's journalism career alone is amazing, but that doesn't even begin to describe the positive impact she's had on so many people. She has achieved so much and we're proud to call her a lifelong Spartan. At this time, President Papazian, I would like to turn to the formal portion of this program and recommend to you on behalf of the faculty that you confer upon these candidates the appropriate undergraduate or graduate degree. Members of the graduating class of San Jose State University, on the recommendation of the faculty of this university and by the authority vested in me by the state of California and by the board of trustees of the California State University system, I now confer upon each one of you the degree appropriate to your program with all the attendant rights, responsibilities, and distinctions. Congratulations. Now, for those of you graduating with a graduate degree, I now turn it over to Provost Del Casino, who will walk our graduate student through the hooding ceremony. At this point in time, I invite you to either hood yourself or have a family member hood you. For those who don't know, the hood comes from the regalia of medieval monks. Well, I don't think we're all monks here, but I do know what we get to wear these awesome outfits at graduation every year. Indeed, there is a long and storied tradition here of SJSU of hooding our graduate students. And regardless of the unique environment in which we find ourselves, I hope you will take part in this important step in the graduation process. Now you have to bear with me for just a second because I have to remove my hood before putting it on. So I'm gonna take it off. And for those who note, this is not how you wear a hood, but rather you got to get this big long piece all the way behind you. And if you're helping, grab it from behind and put it over their neck. And then if you've done it well, just do a gentle comb through back through the hair. And if you do it really right, you won't knock the hat off if they're wearing that. This is a very important sacred part of the ceremony. So I hope all of you take a few seconds and do that right and then give your graduate, a big hug, or if you're there by yourself right now, a big hug for yourself. Well, that was great, Ben, and congratulations to our graduated, graduate students now wearing their hoods for completing their degrees. I'd like now to invite our undergraduate students to join me for another one of our most cherished graduation traditions. Now, don't be shy. This is your moment. Now, I hope you're all in wherever you are and you have your caps on you. Your tassels should be on the right side. And now that we have conferred your degrees, I'm going to ask you to please move your tassels from the right to the left to symbolize the completion of your degrees. <laughs> To all of our graduates, congratulations. You did it. 
We could not be more proud of you, class of 2021. By being part of this resilient, historic, and transformative graduating class, you are now part of San Jose State's celebrated history and legacy. You will never be forgotten, and we are so proud of what you've accomplished. And now is the chance to go forth and celebrate. So please do and look ahead as you begin the next big adventure. Congratulations. Congratulations. University Spring Class of 2021. You did it. From your first day on campus to persevering through a global pandemic. And now, graduating from the most transformative university in the nation. You stuck with it and you earned your degree. You should be extremely proud of yourself. We know it hasn't been easy, but you've worked hard, adapted to change, and shown us how determined you are. You're part of a proud community of Spartans, and you will always have a home at SJSU. While your graduation day is the close of one chapter, 
you are beginning to write the next part of your story. And we can't wait to see what the future holds. As you go about transforming the world around us. Representing more than a quarter million San Jose State alumni around the world. And the entire San Jose State community. From all of us, congratulations and go Spartans!